the geo pump. So for those who don't know, the the peristaltic uh, pumps is actually uh, it's just a, a pump that's actually variable has a variable speed pump that's mainly primarily used for uh, low flow sampling. Uh, so you can use that for low flow sampling. Uh, it has a variable speed, and I'm actually going to show you the components of each uh, buttons here. So we have the pump casing, uh, the housing. We have also the uh, the the knob here, which lets you actually increase or decrease the speed of the rotation. Uh, we have the on and off button, of course, and it has the forward and reverse switch as well. And uh, of course, reverse and forward depends on your application. If you are uh, 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 purging, you can use that. If you are uh, um, doing other than purging, like injecting, you can just simply switch uh, to reverse or forward, depending on uh, your application. And as you guys can see here, we have the pump head. So the pump head is actually has a lever on the side, so this way it's closed. So before you put the tubing in, you can see inside the pump head has a rotating shaft inside. So this is actually how the pump works. Uh, it mechanically works by rotating the shaft that's actually going to squeeze the tubing inside and therefore is going to move the fluid uh, to whatever the direction you're setting it, depending on your reverse and forward switch. So that's uh, that, those are the components of the Geotech pump. So uh, how does it actually work? So this one actually working by using uh, you can use different type of uh, tubing, but we mainly carry here uh, flex tubing, which is a silicon tubing. It mainly uses uh, 3 8 inch of tubing, just like this one here. This is actually the most popular one that we use here, uh, 3 8 inch tubing uh, that goes inside. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Uh, you simply just, this is the way it's closed, and then just Pull the lever up, and then you just inc and then you just put the, the tubing inside. As you can see here, so I'm just I'm going to do it from other end. Once it's uh, once once the tubing is inside, you just put back the lever down. So like just like so. So this way you can see, if you will, if you put it on forward motion, then it's going to draw from this end to the other side. If you are injecting, you reverse the switch. To reverse, and it's going to go uh, to the other side. Okay, so now we know all the components, and we know how it works. We can how to, how do you connect it in the field? So I'm, I'm, I'm I have a case here. This is actually what goes out with every rental. So the unit itself, and this is the cable that comes with the unit. So the, the cable is actually at the back here. You can just plug it in. Just gonna untie this. You can simply plug it in here at the back. You guys can see there's a groove here. You just match it with this one, and you can just simply push it in until you make sure it locks in place. So from now it's the unit is plugged. On the other side, you can actually see it. There's a like a cigarette lighter shape uh, connected here. So what you're going to do is you grab one of those uh, alligator clips that we supply with the pump, like so. Plug it in, make sure it's nice and snug. And then what you're going to do lastly is grab a battery and you just connect it. So of course the positive goes to the positive, which is red. Negative goes to the negative here on this side. So this way now the setup is complete. And simply just turn it on. And you, you can simply just increase or decrease the speed as you wish. So I don't know if you can see from a distance here, but uh, the cap, the the pump actually has two uh, 
pumping stations. So this one that the head is attached to is 0 to 350 RPM. The other one is 0 to 600 RPM. So let's say you want to swap the stations from station one to the second one. You can simply do so by removing those two screws and switch it to the other side for, for, higher, uh, for a higher RPM. So each revolution, uh, so someone may ask uh, how much uh, volume can I get out of this one? So each, each revolution for the shaft here is actually equal to 1.67 uh, milliliter. So you can actually see how much flow you're pumping or you're drawing back by counting how many revolutions that you have here. Uh, another one, if you, uh, let's say if you're counting too fast and you can't keep up with the counting, you can simply uh, get a stopwatch and use uh, something with a known volume. Let's say like uh, the bucket that Matt was showing you, it has a, a grading so you can see, uh, let's say if you're using, uh, if, uh, if you just on your stopwatch, if you have like a 20 liter, for example, if you have a 20 liter, uh, inside the bucket in one in one minute, that means the, your flow rate is 20 liter per minute and, and so forth. So this one, uh, this geotech pump is actually can go, it can go deep as deep as uh, 27 feet. That's like eight meters or so. So you can use it uh, down to that uh, uh, depth. So you can see it's very handy to use in shallow waters or uh, if you're drawing back from a river or a lagoon, you can you can perfectly do that with no problems. 